Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a DIY birthday onesie. It's going to be Cookie Monster inspired for my baby's first birthday. So what are you going to need for this? A onesie of your choice. And guys, pay attention to the packaging. I bought this in a pack and I didn't really read it. I was hoping it was going to be long sleeve, but it's short. But I'm going to make it work. You want to preferably get the onesie because it's got this little tab right here. And it'll kind of hide the, um, make it look like the suspenders are sewn in. Um, you're going to need the ribbon of your choice. I'm going to be using this ribbon to make the suspenders and also the bow. And then, um, felt. So I picked out this blue felt. Um, and I also want to do black, but they didn't have any, so I ended up using this foam sheet. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut the ribbon. Fabric glue. I'm trying out this Fabri-Tex. I got this from Walmart. Let's, we'll see how it works. And last, um, a lighter. You want to fray the tips of your fabric when you cut it. So first thing you really want to do is take the ribbon and measure it from the top to the torso. But I'm going to do it lower. Because I really want it to um, be hidden under his pants. So I go went ahead and cut one piece. And I just grabbed the ribbon. And measured out the second one. Snipped it. And then I frayed it with the lighter. Alright. So we're going to go ahead. And this is like an ombre effect. So I want it to have the darker on the inside. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little glue at a time. I've never used this, so. So I'm just going to stick this all the way to the top. Position it where you want it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on applying that glue. Keeping it straight. And keeping the fabric under flat. I want this to look as neat as possible. So I'm just going ahead and applying the rest of the glue down to the bottom. And laying it down. Smoothing it out. Alright, so that's the one side, let's do the other. So since this has this ombre effect, I want to make sure that the dark side is facing the outside like the opposite one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did on the other. Apply my glue. And position it where I want it, which is under these tabs. I would probably suggest, depending on the look you want, I would use something a little bit thinner. Not as wide as this ribbon. So we'll see how it turns out. I want I plan on putting a number one and a cookie monster on here and a bow tie. So let's see how that works out. Alright, that looks cute. Go ahead and cut a piece for the bow. Let's see. I think that's a good size. So to create this bowl, I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in the middle. And make them 
vote me in the middle. You guys probably want to fray this part. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to go ahead and pinch it anyway. So, But if you want to make it look a little neater, you can go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to put some glue here in the middle and pinch it like so. Oh, I actually put one, a dot here in the middle. You guys see that string? This stuff is pretty strong. So I'll go ahead and pinch it like that. Oh, that's not gonna work. See if this works. Guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go fray this. Alright, guys, so I took a longer piece and I I'm gonna fold it in three ways. So I folded it in the middle, apply some more glue, and I'm gonna fold this over in the middle again. Not all the way to the edge so I can have a nice clean sides. So that I get this piece here. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around this. I think that looks good. So you just want to adjust it to how you want your bowl to look. And I'm just pinching the back to see, get it the shape that I want. And I think I'm happy with that. So I went ahead and applied some glue here, and I'm just going to pinch that and hold that. God, this stuff is messy. Be careful with this stuff, guys. And I'm not doing it too tight so I can um, adjust this to how to my liking. This dry. All right, so let's get dry. I'll set that aside. So let me go ahead and let's make the shape of our one. I don't know if I want to do that. I will. So I'm going to kind of make the one going like at an angle here. So let me go ahead and um, where's my sharpie? I'm just going to make a little spot to show how long I want it. Go ahead and draw one. Uh, 
actually make it a little longer than that. Guys, excuse my kids in the background. Alright, I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. Guys, you probably don't want to use a Sharpie. I'm probably going to have to retrace this because I don't want these black edges. So you might want to use like maybe chalk or something. It's going to wipe off. Alright, so I'm going to speed this process up because I got to do it again and I don't want to make this long for you guys. Be right back. All right, guys, so that didn't quite work out the way that I pictured it. Um, what I wanted to do, what I had a vision was doing the blue and having the black. This is way too small, so I wanted to have like a blue border around this black, but that didn't quite work out. This felt is really hard to cut. It's Maybe I don't have sharp enough scissors, but this works pretty good, the foam. So it's really all, you know, the design that you're looking for. Um, I'm not going to do the, the blue background because the way that I want to place the one is going to be here. And it already has all this blue right here, so it's going to kind of get lost in there. So I'm just going to choose to do it this way. Now you guys can design it however you like. Um, in the video, you kind of see me struggling with this piece here. So I just took a square. And I just started to cut. I want to do these ragged edges to show, like, you know, texture of hair for Cookie Monster's face. So you guys can place this however you want. You know, if you want to do it like this. Like that. However you like to do it. I think I'm going to do it... So just kind of play with it and see what you guys, the look that you like, see the look that you like. I have these little googly eyes. So let's see, let's see how this looks. And I'm going to do the mouth like with a black sharpie probably. I want to use bigger eyes though. Is this one too big? No, that one's nice. So I gotta find that other eye like that. My kids have been playing in this stuff. So, let me see if I like how that looks. I think I kind of like it like this. Decisions, decisions. But yeah, you guys design it how you like. What looks good to you. Like I said, I use these thick 
ribbon, so there's not a lot of room to play with. So I just kind of kind of wing it and make it work. Go ahead and draw them off. So, guys, um, I would suggest that you guys go ahead and have everything ready. I will get like a copy sheet of paper and trace out the outline of everything so you don't have to keep going back and forth like I did. And instead of using a sharpie, you guys can go ahead and use paint or something, but fabric paint or something, but you hear my baby in the background. But this is fine for me. Um I don't know. Kinda like how that looks. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue it together. So I don't stall for time, and I'll come back with the finish piece. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. Let me just move it up so I can show you guys. I think it's really cute. You guys can do a lot of different variations. You can use different color patterns. Um, I could have even did black suspenders. And then a blue one here. But, you know, I chose this, so I think it looks good. Not bad for my first time. But yeah, guys, this is how you make a DIY first birthday onesie. And I'm going to put some black pants on here it's gonna be really cute all right guys